Education Special, Tour 49, now loading for Kansas City, Cheyenne, Pendleton, and the Wonders of the West. All right. Well, where do you want this? Well, up here, I guess. All right. Where's your luggage and everything? Well, Greg has it. Greg? He stopped to get me something to read. Oh. Brought me down a taxi. Wasn't that nice of him? Oh, I don't know. You don't like Greg, do you? I hate him. Malcolm, why can't we all be friends? Because I hate him. Malcolm. I put the other bag in the luggage compartment, honey. Oh, thank you, Greg. Hi, Malcolm. Nice to see you, Greg. How you been? Fine, thanks. This is for you, honey. Guide to the West. Oh, wonderful. 350 illustrations. Really? You don't say. You know, I always think it's a, it's interesting to see things you've only seen pictures of before. Yeah. Gives you a kick, you know what I mean? Yeah. Pardon me, Malcolm. I'll get this up here. Can I help you with that? No, I'll manage things. What's all this? Oh, that's a present from Malcolm. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Better not eat too much of it, though. That'll make you sick. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're out west already. Yeah. Molly? No, thank you. Malcolm? No, thanks. She looks swell, Molly. Doesn't she, Malcolm? Well, that's what I always tell her. <laughs> well, I guess it's these flowers. Mr. McGonagall gave them to me. Oh. Nice old guy, McGonagall. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Hi. Duchess! Where are you? Hello, Bob. Well, Oh, I see we have a quorum here. How are you men, anyway? Fine. Nice to see you. Here, Duchess, eat your head off. Oh, thank you. Oh, you shouldn't have done it. Ah, don't be silly. <laughs> Uh, put it up there next to the other one, will you? Sure. Please? Mine. Excuse me, please. <laughs> you pardon us. I'm glad I'm here anyway. I didn't think I was going to make it for a while. I'm clear up on the Boston Post Road with my taxi, and Don't I... Don't tell us about it. No. Is there anything I can do for you while you're gone, honey? Yeah. Get married. Listen, brother. Sit down. No, listen, I'm not going to have you acting like this. Well, I, well, I, I, I guess you better be going. Yeah, you well, guys. goodbye, Molly. Goodbye. And uh, think it over. You know what we were talking about the other night. Yes, I will. Goodbye. Molly. Yes, Greg. Goodbye, Bob. So long, Duchess. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Watch out for snakes. Yeah, all kinds. Honey, do you mind if I ask you a question? Why, no, go ahead. What are you going away for? Oh, I hope you don't think I'm forward for speaking first, but after all, one of us had to speak first, so what's the difference which one? My name's Molly J. Tuesday. Uh, Flory Bendick. How do you do? Glad to know you. Glad to know you. How are you enjoying the trip so far? Oh, fine. Not me. I wish I'd have known. I bet I wouldn't have come. Why not? Why not? Look at the no fellas. That's all right with me. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Folks, I'd like to have your attention for a minute. You're going to have mine for the next 14 days, so it isn't asking for too much, is it? No, that's what I thought. I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name is Smiley Lambert, but you folks can call me Smiley Lambert. That's pretty <laughs> good, isn't it? How are you? Good to see you. All set for 14 breathless days? Doesn't mean you have to hold your breath up, does it? How are you, girls? Glad to see you. Yes, sir? A big happy family. The idea is not to get in each other's hair. Hair today, gone tomorrow, I always say. <laughs> Got an idea you don't like me, have, huh, brother? Well, I'll grow on you. Yes, sir, grow on you. How are you, girls? Having fun? 
Good to see you. How are you? Well, look at this little man here, all set for a nice little trip. You're all right, Sonny. Well, sex appeal, folks, right over here. Yes, sir, sex appeal. Oh, you pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, we'll be leaving in about two minutes. So don't get him you, Certainly don't blame you. This is the old necking department, folks, in case anybody's interested. <laughs> yes, sir, we used to call this a saloon. Everybody came here for scotch and sofa. <laughs> You're right with me, Ace America. All right, there, all this. Now, folks, we'll be off for the smoothest, most comfortable ride you ever had. Yes, sir, the easiest, smoothest, most comfortable ride you ever had. Now, the boy's going to tell you about it. Okay, Major, let her go. Contact. <laughs> Duke, we all right? Hmm? Sure, 
sure, Wickle. We ain't hurt. We ain't even shook up. If we'd have rode that other horse, we'd have taken the day money. Yep. We sure would have. Would you mind giving me your autograph? My what? Would you just sign my program, please? I want to keep it as a souvenir. Oh. You don't mind? Duke Hutkins. Thank you very much, Mr. Hutkins. I, uh, I don't get sat on every day. Well, goodbye. You want to sign my program? Me? Well, gee whiz, Mr. Hutkins, I don't see... I don't you. sit on people every day. Oh, sure. This is uh, pretty fancy. I don't know whether you can read it or not. Molly J. Truesdale. Let's go, Molly. What? Oh, you like beer, don't you? Well, isn't it funny what can happen just because somebody happens to sit on somebody? Where are you from? The East. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? West.
Waco, come here. I want you to make my better half. Anything you say, Duke. Waco, this here's Molly. Sit down, sit down. Good to see you, Molly. How you been? Uh, just fine. Uh, I, uh, I don't believe I got your name. Waco, like in Texas. Well, that's very interesting. How did they happen to name you after a place in Texas? Oh, the other way around. They named the place after me. Oh, really? Biggest liar in the world. Tell her a lie, Waco. Oh, well, now, let me see. Uh, oh, oh, I never will forget the time we all slept in one bed. And Hiya, Linda Bell. Why, you bow-legged hunk of nothing. How you doing, dude? Good. Sit down, sit down. Yes, sir, you know, here we were. More yeah. beer. Molly, I want you to meet an old, old friend of mine, Linda Bell. How do you do? Howdy, Molly. It was a folding bed, Molly. And what do you want to make up for? I'm so old. Why, you've been hanging around here since they fought Indians. Oh, oh, speaking about Indians, that reminds me of a story. You hear tell about the old Indian custom of scalping white people? Well, I introduced the custom of white people scalping Indians. Really? Yes, ma'am, and the first occasion took place not more than 100 feet from where you're sitting. Well, maybe 200. Hi, you and know, what the Well, what do you know? Well, yeah. and come Hi, and see that. Sit down, sit down. Hi, really? Hi, really? Yes, sir. More beer. You know, as I Where do you say, do? Molly, I want you to know Carmen Cedar. How do you do? And Lily. How do you do? Lil, this here's Molly. Howdy, Molly. Molly, as I was a saying, this year, Injun, he seen what me coming. What you come. doing yourself these nights, Duke? But he don't know what I got a bow in my book for sleep. So he up with his tomahawk. Hey, what's the idea of giving me the brush off? He oh, up with his tomahawk, oh, and I threw my bow in my right straight at him. Duke, you old snake bite. The blood <laughs> thing. <laughs> sit down, sit down. What's the matter? What's the matter? What do you think what's the matter? Well, I don't know what I think what's the matter. Well, then, it just doesn't matter. When I take a girl places, it's kind of unusual she don't have a good time. I butted in. Oh, he did not. Well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Hutkins, this isn't what I came out west for. It's just that I've been sitting on that bus for so long. And you, you don't know how big this country is until you've got to cross it in a sitting position. Then, I don't know, you came along and I just thought maybe I'd have some fun. Sorry you didn't. I'm sorry, too. Would you like to... Have another chance? All right. Oh, oh. Come on, man, get it down. Here we come now. Make it a hard down here. Oh, attention. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Now. Now. Oh, he throw four. Little Joe. Little Joe. Oh, little Joe once. Oh, he throw four. Four we win. Hello, four. Yeah, you see. Here we go. I'll explain later. Oh. How much money we got? We we got two hundred and eighty-three dollars. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, 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 come on
Well, what's the matter? You're going to start betting against it? Oh! Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Hold it, fella. You got trouble? No. I just want to tell you the house rules. Like what? Like we've got a $25 limit here. <laughs> oh, since when? Hold it, brother. Pick up your money and let's play nice, huh? All right. Give me paper for this. Why don't you let the lady roll? You're a gentleman. Hmm? Well, Molly, sure. Go ahead, roll them. Oh, oh. my desk. <laughs> Fifteen only. <laughs> yeah, well, how do you know it? Honest. Shooting five only. <laughs> Shooting a buck. See? Don't ever leave me, Molly. Don't ever leave me. Just do that. I better not make me quite on this morning. You know, it really pays to have a good time with you. <laughs> oh, say, what time is it? Maybe I better be getting back to my bus. Oh, it's early, uh, shot Irish. Right. Two? Uh, no, no, I'll have, um, I'll have cactus milk, please. Huh? Cactus milk. Did you ever see a milk and cactus? How's the body? How's the body? How's the body? How about what? A right, ginger ale. You didn't order any. Want to make some run? Oh, no, sir. Boy, you look too tough for me. <laughs> I'd like to step outside. Hi. Never better. Never better. No. Hey, you're pretty lucky. Can't lose, eh? No. <laughs> you ain't fooling me, big boy. You're just lucky on account of your little old lucky girl makes you lucky. Oh, well, you got something there. Where is she? I took all his dough and flew the coop. I just said. I said she took all my dough and flew the coop. Ooh. Ooh, why don't you lend me that little lucky girl of yours for a few minutes? I'd like to win some. You don't want to do that. You want to go out and find your own little old lucky girl. Yeah, that's just what I said. Why don't you lend me that little old lucky girl? You can't lose. Ah, can't lose. Oh, he's all right. Just having a good time. So am I. Duke. So much. Well. well. Oh. What's the matter? Glass of water? Jeevers! What was that? Cactus milk. What well, was Jeevers in it? Tequila, apple jack, gin, and cactus milk. Jeevers! Gosh, really had me scared. Shaking like a leaf. Give me another shot of Irish. Right. Ain't tea for you, lady? Cactus milk. Huh? Make it snappy. Well, here's your fortune, you little old lucky fella. <laughs> I'll show you that little old lucky girl. Come on. 
Blow some luck on these for me. Come on. Hey. That's enough. Are you all right, honey? idea that I've never been asked because I have. What happened? Oh, I just never met the right fella, that's all. Oh. You married? No. Of course, I don't want you to get the impression I ever asked anybody. Why not? Don't believe in it. Well, lots of people are married. They seem to like it fine. No, they don't. They just make out they like it because they're ashamed to admit they made a mistake. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I was just been thinking. I wish, instead of this old hay wagon being here, I wish it had been your horse. Hmm? We did. We'd have landed on him and gone riding someplace. Yeah. Yeah. Riding through the night like the wind. What's, what's your horse's name? Sammy. Sammy. Mm. Well, that's a wonderful name for a horse. Hi ho, Sammy. Hi ho, Sammy. I got a horse, too. No fool? What's his name? Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn? Must be a mighty fancy animal. Oh, she is. She's white. White all over, except for a little splotch like here. Nice. Yeah. You should see her go riding through the night. Yeah. I never saw an eastern horse yet that was any good for roping. Gwendolyn can do anything. Oh. How high can Sammy jump, for instance? Well, I don't know. I... Well, I don't mean it as any reflection on Sammy, of course, but Gwendolyn can jump ten feet. Holy smokes. Straight up. Can she run? She can even run backwards. Backwards? 
Well, not very fast, of course. Oh. Oh, she's wonderful. Her, her nose is like velvet. And her coat. So soft. And her eyes. You ought to see her eyes there. Well, they're like hamburgers. Lady, that's a lot of horse. Where do you keep her? In my head. She's the loveliest white horse that ever was. Well, that, that little splotch right here. Of course, the only, the only trouble with Gwendolyn is nobody can see her but me. When did I ever meet a girl like you? When did I ever meet a fellow like you? I, uh, I think we better go put me on my bus. Let's go. I, uh, I think we better go. I'm always early for buses. Trains, too. It's just the way I am. It's a good way to be. If uh, you ever come east to New York, or... Well, sure, I, I will. You got a pencil? No, I... Oh, well, I've got one. A plaza 33098. Plaza? Three, three, oh. Nine, eight. Nine, eight. If uh, you call about six, I'll be there. Oh, I may not be heading east for a year, maybe. Oh, well. Well, I'll be there if you, if you call around six. Oh. I wonder where my bus is. Oh, uh, maybe it's around back. Maybe if we'd ask somebody. Hey! What? My suitcase. Where? In there on the floor. That bus went and left before 10 o'clock. How do you know that's your suitcase? My pajamas are hanging out. I always leave my pajamas hanging out, so I don't know which one is mine. Look at mister. Are you the lady with the rainbow tours? What happened to my bus? Well, here's your suitcase. They said to What's tell you... What's the idea of them going off before 10 o'clock, like they said? Huh? 10 o'clock... You must have been having a right good time, lady. What am I going to do? Well, they said to tell you, you can catch the bus when it gets to coming back. Back? Yeah, it comes back through Gold City. 
Gold City? We're playing there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Well, she can catch her bus there Saturday, 8 a.m. But I'll miss the Columbia Gorge, the, the Pacific Ocean, the Puget Sound, and the waterfalls of Seven Delights. Lots of folks has missed them. Me and Waco, we're driving to Gold City tomorrow. All that way across the country. What do I get for it? Gold City. Good night, lady. You got hay on you. Oh, Jinkers. You just... You just don't know, Duke, how I've been counting on the waterfalls of Seven Delights. Oh, they ain't anything. Yeah, I know, but when you haven't even seen a waterfall with one delight... Well, I... Yes, I better go look for a hotel. You may have a little trouble. Huh? Well, this here being a Rodeo town, uh, hotels are usually full. But you're gonna have my room. Well, where will you sleep? I don't usually have much trouble. Duke. Hmm? I just wish all ladies in distress could meet up with fellas like you. Let's go. Very conspicuous. Hey, Chief. A bottle and two glasses. Mm. How many? Give me two. Sounds very nice hotel. Glad you like it. We're giving up our room, Waco. That's awfully nice of him. Well, Duke, I, I just can't tell you how wonderful it's been. I'll help you. Oh. You see? Oh no, don't bother. I can do this later. Nice hanging closet here. Yeah. Plenty of room. Yeah. Well, it's it's just been wonderful. You don't know. Oh, we better get the wrinkles out of these things. Oh no, I'll I'll, I'll do it. Swell ship in here. Plenty of drawer space. Room for all your little uh, things. Come in. What's the matter? Well, what do you think? What's the matter? Well, I don't know what's the matter. Just trying to kiss you. Where are you going? I can sleep in the park, can't I? All I got there is bears and hyenas. There ain't no park. Is 
stay here. I'll get. I'll always drink by myself. in. We're going to Gold City. Never mind. Oh, come on. Hop in. No, thank you. She's wacky. Why? Because she said no? She ain't my type. Too suspicious. Mighty pretty. She's wacky. You gotta admit, Duke, I feel kind of sorry for the poor little critter. All alone. Big heavy suitcase. You don't want to ride with us. Well, as far as I'm concerned, she can where, take us. Where is she from? Well, I don't know. New York City, someplace. Well, as the man said, east is east and west is west. And never the two should meet. Or something. Shut up. Ben. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll never forget the time. Clean up I... the tinware, will you, Waco? Oh, anything you say, Duke. Is there any good reason for you and me to sit around here insulting each other? I insulted you, Mr. Hudkins. I'm sorry. Quit calling me Mr. Hudkins. Anything else I could call you, Mr. Hudkins, would hardly be appropriate for a lady to utter. Lovely night. Yeah. This is all washed. Well, they ain't exactly washed, but they won't draw flies, I guess. Uh, I remember way back... Time to bed down. Hope you don't mind sleeping on the same desert with me. He 
He's pretty fresh, isn't he? Well, he's in the open air all the time. Funny. Last night for a while, I thought he was just about the nicest fellow I'd ever met. He generally has that effect on him at first. Wake up. Go on, beat it. That's all. Jealous. Easy, boy. Oh, Sammy. Got yourself all excited for nothing, didn't you? Good night, boy. Aren't you going to put a rope on him? How'd you like to have me put a rope on you? I wouldn't. Well? Well, I'm not a horse. What's the difference? Uh, plenty. Not about a thing like that, there ain't. Well, I guess it's all in the way you look at it. Anything that ties you down is no good. Like a steady job. Or if I owned a ranch, or... Well... Well, I thought every cowboy wanted to own a ranch someday. Every cowboy? Not me. Think if I owned a ranch. Could I go where I want to go when I want to? Or do? No, well, I guess not. Take if instead of just Sammy, I owned 20 horses. I'd be in the horse business. I don't like any business except the one I'm in. What's that? Living the way I like to, by myself. Oh. It's great. You ought to try it sometime. No, I... I don't think so. It sounds lonesome. Maybe. But me? I don't like ropes. Good night. Good night. Hey, hey, could you...
sorry, Sammy. But it's either you or me, your figure. What's that? Sammy! What'd you do with your blankets, you doggone fool? What's all the commotion? Holy smoke. Waco! Waco! Sammy Sneed, pack the car. I'll come, I thought it was engines. Get going, we gotta get to Gold City and fast. Come on, boy, get in the trailer. A roller, silly. Choo! Choo! Sammy, God bless you. No respect for nothing. 
stealing a horse's blanket. Sammy sneezes. No breakfast, no lunch. Ain't you afraid you'll lose your bus? Doesn't come till tomorrow. Never saw such a fuss made just because a horse sneezes. After all, it's just a cold in the nose. I've had plenty of colds in my nose. And I'm sorry to kept you waiting so long. Oh, I don't mind it. Just... You got a pretty sick horse, mister. I thought first maybe it was just a cold. Well, maybe it is. I... I can't be sure yet. Well, there's no use beating around the bush. Maybe pneumonia started, maybe not. If it hasn't, he ought to be okay. But if it has, well, there ain't much I could do. I can't tell you yet just what the chances are. I'll be taking x-rays and smears and... Why don't you come back here around five or six this afternoon? Then... Either he'll be okay, or, uh, or we'll know. You got a fine horse, mister. And well, I'll be doing everything I can. Getting late, you better go. If he was made up a second instead of him, I could tell him where it hurts. He can't. It was all my fault. Oh, if anything should happen, I don't know what I could do to... It's all right, Molly. It's been nice knowing you. Right about him. Huh? He's the most unusual man I ever met. Sure is. He certainly is the right fellow for the right girl. Yeah. Huh? Hey, Molly. I. I'm not leaving just yet. You better. Uh, no, you go on. I'll stay here, and if anything happens, I'll let Duke know. And... Molly, I want to give you a little advice. What? Go home. I'm going home tomorrow. Go now. Why? Molly, I'm an old man, and I like you. But I know Duke, and I know women, all kinds. I know your kind. You're a fine gal, but if you don't watch out, you're going to get your heart broke. Love is the best thing there is, I guess. But you're barking up the wrong cowboy. Any fellow that can love a horse can love a girl. Betcha. Betcha. Him, you don't stick down his head. He ain't too trusty. What time is it? Oh, you got another hour. What time is it? Oh, uh, ten after four. Well, then we ain't got another hour. He said five, didn't he? Okay, okay. And kind of watch him. He don't drift to the left. Just keep an eye on him. I'll handle him. Thanks. Yeah, it's nothing at all, Duke. I'm sorry about Sammy. I heard about Sammy. Yeah. When are you going to know? Pretty soon. Here's your next bulldogger, Duke Husky. I mounted well, placing his horse in now behind the barrier. Time is already, black's going up. 
Mind watch this now. The only form of help from the spear on its side. Unchain him. Go. Ready now? No. No. What is it? Sammy. Sammy's what? Here we go. And watch this one. Here we go. Take it to Okay. The vet says he's going to be all right. Waco, he's okay. Glory be. <laughs> well, don't start crying, Molly. There's nothing to cry about. Come on. Oh, uh, see, Sam gets his horse with you, Waco. That Humboldt's a good doctor. You're that family feeling frisky in a hurry. He's the man I want to see if I ever get sick. Come on. said to tell you he's waiting for you down at the restaurant. Got so hungry, he couldn't wait no more. Oh, friend of mine. How do you do? I do. Have you a vacancy? Haven't got a thing, lady. Oh, dear. Oh, I was hoping you might have. Yeah. It's just for overnight. Are you sure? Oh, yes, you see, my bus, I... Well, I uh, got a party coming in to number 12 about noon tomorrow. Oh, I'd be out by then. Okay. Of course, if you change your mind, I can't help you. Oh, no. You see my bus. I, I have to... Yeah. It's the fifth one over, right next to Duke's. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Want to go downtown and have some supper? You mean right now? Oh, Waco's waiting. And... Uh, well... I thought we might eat later. Oh. Hey, Duke. Where have you been? I've been a-waiting. I'm not hungry. You look hungry. Uh, we're going to eat here. Where? Right here. Going to have a little home-cooked dinner for change? Yeah. Is there a grocery store near here? No. Find her one, will you, Waco? I got to get cleaned up. Oh, I'll go get the car. I'll be with you in a minute. I want four nice lamb chops, please. You're a move. Uh, look, could I have four nice lamb chops, please? Josephine! Well, I'll be gosh darned, you sure look different. Well, I... My, my name's not Josephine. He <laughs> changed your name, too, huh? My gosh, you kids. You think I'm somebody else. What's the matter? Nothing, he thinks I'm somebody else. Well, she's not. Oh. Uh, look, could I please have four nice lamb chops? I'm in an awful hurry. Sure. Lamb chops. Uh, uh, what are you going to get for Duke? They're for Duke. Oh, he won't eat them. He most certainly will. I fix them in a very special way. <laughs> Excuse me. And I don't care how you fix them. He's liable to throw them at you. Not me. I'm not his better half. Not yet. I'm 
you look pretty. Bright pretty. I might as well tell you, Duke, I don't approve of this whole thing. What whole thing? You going over there for dinner and all. Well, man's got to eat, don't he? Not like this, he don't. I tell you, that little gal over there means business. So do I. Listen, Duke. You're a wild horse, and you ain't never been busted. But that don't mean you ain't never going to be. Oh, don't worry. Oh, she ain't for you. Remember what you told me? Women is like socks. You've got to change them regular. This gal's different. Already? This gal's different, and you're going to find it out. You sound like a wife. Here. Why? Supper ready? Yes, but I thought we might have our cocktails here. Oh. Smells good. What do we got? You'll see. Well, here's to you. What is it? It's tomato juice. Oh. It don't taste like it. Well, that's the way I prepare it, with lime juice. It's good this way, isn't it? Yeah. If you like tomato juice. Are you hungry? Well, to tell you the truth, yes. Well, let's start then. <laughs> this is your place. Here. <laughs> Order. Matter. Lamb chops. Yes. I never eat lamb chops. But they're good. Come on, let's go downtown and get a steak. Oh, try them. But I don't like them. I never ate them, that's why. Why? I don't like them. I like steak. Hey, they're all right. You see? They taste just like steak. Sure. Maybe we ought to eat outside. More light out there. What's so wonderful about light? Nothing, except I just bit my thumb. <laughs> Glad we haven't got some beer. Yes, isn't it?
You got everything. Thank you. Got any more of me? No. No, but you can have one of mine. Here. Mm. Now, eat your salad, Duke. It's good for you. Mm. I'll get the dessert. Apple pie? No. Rice pudding? No. Something else. I don't like anything else. Why? I'll never eat anything else, that's why. Well, I hope you like this because it's a surprise. What is it? Well, it's a kind of a surprise for me, too. I got it at the store. It's called Sunset on the Desert Special. Made me think of you. Me? Mm-hmm. Then I tell us an hour later. Oh, it don't matter much. Uh... Wonderful, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. Mmm. Good. Duke. Hmm? You know, all we've been together and all the fun we've had and everything and... Mm hmm Tears. About a million questions I'd like to ask you. What's the matter? Oh, really? Oh, really? Duke. Oh, here. Here, take some of this. Maybe loosen it. I'm drunk. What? I'm drunk. I haven't had a drink all day and I'm drunk. Oh, gee, what did I thought was... I know what you thought, but you thought wrong. I guess you don't want any more than any other girl wants. But you come to the wrong place. I'm not built that way. Built what way? I'm not gonna get hooked. That's what way. Maybe this sort of thing works where you come from, but it don't work around here. Well, I... 
Leave me alone. Quit trying to hook me. I'm not I trying. I got my own way of living, and I'm not going to have anybody changing it. I don't want And don't to... start crying. Who's crying? Just let me say it. If I wanted to get hooked, I'd let you hook me. I don't know of nobody to... But I don't want to get hooked. Honey, we were so worried you've no idea. Yeah, we even put through a long-distance call. Yeah, I paid. Well, I hope you're none the worse for wear, kid. Like they say. Just what do you mean by that, Mr. Lambert? Nothing. My goodness, I never saw such touchy people. Come on, Molly. Come on over here. Molly, you gonna tell me everything? Well, there's nothing to tell. Oh, sure. I bet you could talk all the way home. Not gonna. All right! All right, folks, step out of here. Here we go. Plenty of things to do, plenty to see. Still at it, isn't he? You have no idea. All right, you. Come on, we right. set you over. Go along, go along, me. You got a little cow there. My cab was parked outside. I don't care. Listen, fat boy. Who do you think you're pushing? You're going to get worse in the push if you don't give me that bag. Bob, everybody's looking clean. You touch me once more. Give me that bag. I've never liked you, Bob. You may as well know it. Listen, maybe you can't understand English. I said my cab was double parked outside. I don't care if it is double parked. You shouldn't have brought it. Shouldn't have brought my cab? No. Look, my cab is yellow. And when I do, get out of the way. Oh, break it up. Oh, hello, Bob. Come on. Hello, Bob. Just a minute. Now, listen. 
We're all going together, or else I shall go by myself. Well, I was here first. Wait a minute, boy. Just put her in the chair. What are you doing here? I thought you said... I know what you thought, but you thought wrong. Just a minute. Well, I, uh... I met him out west. You, you better put me down, Duke. I, uh, I want to introduce you to my friends. Uh, Mr. Hudkins, this is Mr. Stone. How do you do? Howdy. Mr. Hastings. Hello. And Mr. Starkey. How do you do? Molly, who is this guy? Well, I just told you. Who are you? I... Well, I, uh, I don't know. Duke, what are you doing in New York? Well, I just came to take you back. Now? Pretty soon. Tour number 49, leaving for Kansas City, Tulsa, Phoenix, and Los Angeles. Now, just a minute, Buffalo Bill. Bob, I wish you'd let me take care Where of my Where do you home. think you are, on the prairie? <laughs> well, no, I, uh... Duke! <laughs> oh, have a nice trip. Just a minute. I'm not going anyplace. What's the matter with you? Are you crazy? Haven't I anything to say about this? I can tell you one thing. I'm certainly not going to get on any old bus. I just got off a bus. As a matter of fact, I don't even know whether I should be speaking to you after the things that you... No, honest, Duke. I mean it. If you want to sit down and talk things over for a few minutes, that's one thing. But I'm, I'm not getting on any bus. Now, look, if you... If you want to come to me again, I just want to look for you. You're certainly mistaken, Duke. That's all I've got to say. Hello, 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 hello. Folks, I'd like to have your attention for a minute. You're going to have mine for the next 14 days, so it isn't asking for too much, is it? Even if, even if I changed my mind, even if, even if I wanted to go back with you, I, I couldn't. I'd lose my job. That's all right. I got a job for you. Huh? I divorced Waco. <laughs> Got an idea you don't like me, huh? Well, I'll grow on you, brother. Yes, sir, grow on you. Howdy, partner. Glad to see you. Hello. We'll be leaving in about two minutes, folks. So don't get impatient. Just as anxious to get started as you are. Yes, sir. In about five seconds, we'll be off with the smoothest, most comfortable ride you ever had. Yes, sir. Smoothest ride you ever had, and I'm the boy who's going to tell you about it. Okay, Major. Let her go. Contact.